This 10 News Pinpoint Weather Report is sponsored by Anderson Plumbing, Heating and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. Speaking of amazing women in STEM, meteorologist Leah Pizzetti <laughs> is here to inspire the rest of us with her forecast. Jared, I'll keep ya. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm speechless. Flattery will get you everywhere. Guess I'll just uh, give you your forecast now. How about that? Uh, yeah, hey, go women in STEM. Love that. Uh, how about some highs for today? This is what we uh, picked up across the county today. San Diego was below average. That's kind of funny to think about when you think about the heat that the rest of the county felt. Ramona, 10 degrees warmer than where we typically are for this time of year. Brownfield, 5 degrees warmer. So yeah, toasty as you head to the east. Uh, Poway still sitting at 85. Ramona also in the mid 80s right now. But San Diego, Chula Vista, really nice to sit in right around 70 degrees currently. Next couple of hours for us, we're going to be uh, staying warm. It'll be a really mild Saturday evening for you getting down into the 60s for our coastal areas by about 8 p.m. this evening. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a really mild Saturday night. We do expect the marine layer to build really just for our coastal areas. Could see a little bit of drizzle produced overnight tonight, uh, but for the most part, pretty mild night and it's going to break really easily tomorrow, making way for sunny skies and yes, one more time, hot temperatures, but we do have a little bit of relief heading our way. I'll get to that in just a second, but tomorrow look at this 70s. Once again, for our coastal areas, it's going to be the place to be to escape the heat that we'll be feeling in our inland valleys, mid to upper 80s into the 90s in our mountains, deserts once again in those triple digits. One more time, we have that excessive heat warning that is in place through tomorrow evening. You see why for our desert communities, so it's going to be nice and toasty. Once again, we are going to see wind gusts picking up as well tomorrow, getting up to 40, even 50 miles per hour uh, in our the eastern parts of our county, so it's going to be hot. It's going to be windy, but relief is on the way. The one place where we won't see too much fluctuation is along the coast. It's going to be fairly mild for the next seven days for our coastal communities. Uh, we do see a little bit of a cool down into Monday, but look at that by Wednesday, Thursday, we're back up to the mid 70s into Friday as well. So coast marine layer is going to continue to deepen, but we'll see sunny skies by the afternoon. Look at this for our inland valleys. 87 degrees expected for tomorrow. A nice cool down into Monday back down to 79 degrees. Tuesday sticks around, but then we're picking right back up as we head into next week. We're back to the mid to upper 80s for our uh, inland valleys, mountains, a similar trend. Warm for one more day, tiny break, but then we heat back up to the mid 80s by Wednesday and Thursday. Deserts, unfortunately, we are going to sit in the triple digits all week long. Also a little bit of a break Sunday into Monday. That's a nice 10 degree cool down, uh, but the heat picks right back up. So yeah, get, stay hydrated. I was looking at the highs from today and there's a 50 degree difference between Del Mar and Borrego Springs. It's fascinating to see what a wide variety of temperatures we can see in one county. Yeah, those microclimates are something else. Yep. Thanks, Leah. <laughs>